medical school, there's um, some discussion of certain pathology in tendons from patients who have uh, genetic disorders with high cholesterol. Um, but it's one of those things buried deep in the textbooks that uh, people know the answer for a test, but no one really thinks about it once they get into the uh, specialty of orthopedics. And, um, <clears throat> you know, on a more sort of day-to-day -day, uh, cumulative effect, um, there are lots of patients who come in who have high cholesterol for 30, 40 years. Uh, that's, in some cases, under-medicated or unmedicated. Uh, that also have uh, tendon pathology and uh, we, we never really thought about how the two interacted with each other. So that's where I started asking the questions because really uh, there were some preliminary studies in the foot and ankle area, but uh, in, in the shoulder, uh, basic science area, uh, animal models, there really had not been much in that area. So I was able to uh, translate that clinical basic question into animal models and collaborate uh, at Penn uh, with uh, one of my uh, basic science mentors, Lou Zlowski, into uh, studies in the laboratory and ongoing now studies uh, clinically. Initially, early in my career, um, as I was thinking about this and looking at potential funding sources, uh, absolutely the RAF was uh, first and foremost uh, on my mind. And um, until we were able to get some preliminary pilot data, uh, and we did get a small seed grant from the AOSSM uh, initially, and that allowed us to uh, 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 receive a larger grant from the RAF. Uh, and uh, that's really been a springboard for us to be able to perform uh, a lot of our basic science studies that have uh, you know, spurred us on to further clinical studies and uh, another OREF award. And uh, now we're in the midst of uh, putting together uh, an R01 uh, NIH grant uh, application and hopefully get that funded. And uh, absolutely, the OREF has been instrumental in um, really <clears throat> not only providing us the funds to do this, but the confidence um, and sort of uh, the interest to be able to continue to do this. Because without the RAF, um, this would have been another one of those interesting, okay, I'm not sure, let's move on. And now it's been something that <clears throat> if you look at the uh, growing uh, information on cholesterol, not just from our group, multiple groups around the world that are looking at the effects of cholesterol, tendons, the use of statins, which um, modulate cholesterol, and how they uh, affect uh, not only tendons, but uh, the area of, of healing at the tendon bone interface, the effect of uh, them on uh, the bone quality, as well as uh, various um, uh, upregulated or downregulated uh, proteins uh, in the environment of the, of the joint. So really far uh, spanning. Uh, area of interest and um, I, I think you know I, I have a tremendous amount of pride in that we started some of this and uh, the ORAF was hand in hand our, our partner in getting this uh, funded and it was uh, tremendous uh, for uh, our discipline of orthopedics and for, for my career so I'm uh, eternally grateful for that. Innately, most physicians go into medicine because they enjoy helping people, making a difference in their life. And um, RAF, on a fundamental level, uh, does that and allows clinicians to be able to ask questions and help our society uh, develop solutions to some very important questions that need to be answered. And there are many um, younger uh, surgeons who have great questions to ask but do not necessarily have the track record yet or the, the support financially to be able to answer those questions. Uh, and so the RAF has done a tremendous job. And if you look at uh, previous uh, grant winners uh, 15, 20 years ago, they are the thought leaders in our uh, 
discipline now. And without the RAF, uh, I don't think any of us would, would be where we are today. Uh, the RAF has done a tremendous job of really supporting this and uh, <clears throat> you know, improving uh, the musculoskeletal care we're delivering. Um, so uh, I'm eternally grateful to the RAF. I think uh, everyone has a responsibility to give to the RAF um, because uh, with, without our partnership and our work together, uh, a lot of the ideas that we have that are going to benefit society uh, will never see the light of day.